just another day of losing your mind, Jess. It'll be okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right? It's okay. Hello, my sexy marsupials, and I don't know why you're marsupials today. Are you a marsupial? Am I like actually calling you by the correct name? Because if you don't want to be a marsupial, we can talk about this. I'm Jess and I choose not to fix the dark circles under my eyes so the world knows how sick I am of its shit every week. As some of you guys know, I have recently entered the field of unemployment. Not by choice, I promise I wasn't fired as easily believable as that probably is. But trust me, I'm more sane at work than I am on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Ask that pencil sharpener that I had at my last job. Oh, Harold, you're the one I miss the most. Anyway. <laughs> but alas, I graduated because my supervisor wanted me to go on to bigger and brighter things in the future. Basically, I graduated and they couldn't keep me on as a student worker anymore. I don't know, I didn't make the rules. So in light of my current situation, I thought it would be fun to share with you guys the five reasons it's fantastic to be unemployed. Number one, you basically lose track of all time and space. That's right, I went to bed at 3 a.m. last night. And then I woke up at 8 a.m. But you know what, Jess, you don't have a job anymore. You don't have to be up this early. Go back to sleep. Oh, you have a job interview at 2.30 today? I guess you'll wake up at 1 p.m. and run out the door. No, wait, come back. You are still in the onesie. Oh, thank God, thank God. Okay, I'm back, I'm good. I came back in the door. Number two, the crippling stress of not knowing if you're gonna be able to pay your next bill. Oh, you have a bill due on the first? Well, too bad, your next paycheck is to be determined. Better pull out that credit card. Oh, you're only 22 with the crippling debt of student loans that won't allow you to get a credit card? I guess it's time to call every relative you know and grovel for money. Yeah, call that third cousin twice removed. I bet they have $50 that they can loan you. Probably not, let's just be honest. Number three. Going out with friends. You have all the time in the world between those few interviews you have throughout the week. So you know, why don't I call up my friend and get lunch with them? I bet they'd love to hear all about my epic adventures of the minimum wage job I interviewed for two weeks ago and never heard back from. Too bad you have no money to do that. Oh look, a dollar. Better put that in the piggy bank because their third cousin twice removed wouldn't help you pay that electric bill. Maybe I can reschedule this lunch three months from now. Number four. Did you get a job yet? Did you get a job yet? Hey Jess, did you get a job yet? Answer to that question for the last month has been no, Jerry. Nothing makes you feel more like a failure than your friends and family constantly asking you if you have a job yet. Also all those text messages from those people asking when your non-existent job starts. It honestly makes you feel like walking into oncoming traffic might be a better idea than looking at your phone most days. Number five, my favorite, social media. Nothing makes you feel more ahead in life than watching all of your Facebook friends update statuses about the new jobs they got post-graduation. Oh look, your friend Wilma just got her dream job. Didn't she graduate with you back in May? Didn't you get a higher GPA than her? Wasn't your resume 10 times better than hers according to your professor two years ago? Doesn't seeing her first day of work office selfie with all her new friends just make you feel so happy? Don't you wish you could congratulate her by giving her a nice handshake around the neck? Oh god, okay, that just got dark. That shit just got dark. So with that being said, what does the future hold for YouTubers stress in a box? Well, this very expensive paper isn't doing me shit. On to the next one. Basically, being unemployed sucks. I hope you guys enjoyed that video because I really enjoyed making that one, surprisingly enough. If you enjoyed watching this face rant for the past, like, five minutes, make sure you subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video because I appreciate it a lot. I post a new video every single week right here on my channel as well as do live streams every single weekend with you guys. I will put the links for that below. But thanks for watching, guys.